Welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my collection series and today we're going to be talking about my current Nintendo DS collection. The Nintendo DS was released in North America on November 21st, 2004. And I'm pretty sure I got one of these on the first day of release, although I'm not sure exactly which game I got. I was mainly excited for the two screens, one of them being a touch screen, and I was very excited for being able to play Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games. I don't believe that it could play Game Boy or original Game Boy games because of the voltage switch and how it was missing in the DS. Now, I absolutely love the DS. It's actually, I think I like it more than the 3DS, but it was just a really fun system for me. It fit in the hand very well. <clears throat> I love the dual screens. I love the touch screen. Uh, I loved how companies became very innovative with how to make use of the touch screen or the second screen, be it in an RPG, having it as a map, or having it as an additional control in a game, or any number of things. It was just very, very innovative, and I became a very large fan of the Nintendo DS. But with all of that said, here is my current collection of Nintendo DS games. Well, let's start with my Nintendo DS collection. First up, we have the Nintendo DS Rumble Pack, and this is another case that I just kind of hacked together with some of the blurbs about, about what the DS Rumble Pack does, and there it is. There's not really any documentation to be had with that thing. Um, it is kind of fun to be able to add Rumble to some DS games. Next up, we have another accessory, my Action Replay DS, which actually got a CD holder and cut it down to size to fit in here. And, um, you know, it, it stays fairly well put. And um, there's the cartridge itself. And then it just kind of fits in there. Ooh, a little rough. But it does fit and it stays fairly secure. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the case turned out. And there's a little bit of blurb on the back about it. Definitely the image has been stretched, as you can tell by like how the CD is not round. But, you know, it fits my purposes, which is to make it look like it belongs in the collection. Next up is another one, is the R4 Gold uh, Revolution for the 3DS and, and all of the other things that will accept DS games. You guys know what this is? This is a flash card, where it, I've got my adapter and I've got the actual DS cart itself where you can see the flash cart or the, the SD card right there and I, I decided to keep some of the boxes for it and everything to because it cut down and in, into a, a pretty decent size some cardboard and got it in there and here's a little bit of blurb on the back but that's how I play import games on the DS now we have Advance Wars Dual Strike. Now all of these should be in original cases. I've got the manuals for almost everything, unless it was something that I had to pick up used and had to compromise. Most of these I actually picked up brand new while they were current. This one, Animal Crossing, is a sad story because someone stole my old DS and it was one of the original silver ones. And the game that was inside of it was Animal Crossing Wild Worlds. I'm going to hold on to this and hopefully find another copy of Wild World and pop it in there. Next up, we have Bang.io Spirits. This is a great little shooter game. It originally came out on the Dreamcast and then they created this version of it, which is actually one to four players on the on the DS, and it's a decent little shooter game that's got its own little quirks. 
Here's another time waster game I used a lot, which was Brain Age. And, yep, have the book. Oh, it folded in a little, but I can fix that later. And here's the back. I think almost everyone had Brain Age, and at one point in time, uh, used game stores were getting to the point where they were refusing to take it. Here's one for Retro Rivals, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. And here's the insides, and here's the back. So that one's definitely complete. I got that one when it came out. Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. I think you guys are noticing a theme with me and Castlevania. And Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. This game is, this is the second one that I've purchased because the first one I lent it out to a friend and sadly he passed away while he was borrowing it and I never got it back and I didn't have the heart to tell his wife that he had a bunch of my old magic cards and my copy of this game. I just, I, I let her sell all of that stuff to cover the cost of the funeral. Next up, we have Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Tales. This is basically a Chocobo card game. Um, I haven't really gotten into this one too much. I definitely need to pop it in and just check it out and see if it's gonna be something that I like. Uh oh, 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 yep, there's the instructions. So I'm pretty sure I put, purchased this one new. This is a 2019 game that I picked up, or was a game I picked up in 2019, which was fairly recent for, for DS games. Custom Robo Arena. I like the Custom Robo games. I loved it on the GameCube and from what I played, and it has all of the documentation, including, I know the book's in here. Oh, there's the Wi-Fi stuff. There it is. There's the book. Usually I take the book and move it to the front. So I'll just go ahead and do that right now. But it's a lot of documentation, like you can tell because it's bent the clips out and stuff. But another great and wonderful DS game. And I, I just love the idea of like building a Mac and playing and stuff. So we have Final Fantasy 3, which is the first time I believe this version of Final Fantasy, it's Japanese 3, not American 3, that it was released in the US, which is why I picked it up. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. Final Fantasy, the four, uh, the four Heroes of Light. I think this is like one of the only ways to play this game, or it was like one of the earliest ways to be able to play it. And I haven't played it yet. I need to. Uh, there's a lot of DS games that fall into that category because, well, I started playing MMOs and got into way too heavily into them and just let all of my other gaming go to the side. Next up, Final Fantasy Tactics A2. This one I need to go through and finish. I need to finish the other Tactics Advance game too because I tried being too much of a completionist on the first one on the Game Boy Advance and I just need to go through and finish playing it and not try to be completionist because it'll take way too much time. Next up, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. I picked this up at Toys R Us for like five bucks and yes, it is still sealed, but I'm gonna leave it sealed until I get around to playing it. But I need to go back and play through the other two Golden Suns first before I start on that one. Oh boy, I do not like this game. This is Guilty Gear Dust Strikers or Guilty Gear DS. This is the one that has the multi-platform, I think this was the one that has the multiple platforms, yeah, it does, right there. Where you can jump around and it tried to be a lot like Super Smash Brothers and it failed at doing that. And then it also introduced the mechanic where you have to hit a button to turn around. And that was an abject failure. I don't think anyone in a fighting game development team has ever thought that that has been a good game ever, a good game, a good idea ever since. 
but I love the Guilty Gear series, but I keep this as a painful reminder that even the masters can actually make mistakes. Next is Lufia, Curse of the Sinistrals. And I love the Lufia series. I need to play through this one. I have not played through it because I was addicted to MMOs at the time. Oh boy. One, Lightsaber Samurai, it's an Atlas game. Two, no one knows, hardly anyone knows about this game. Picture Final Fantasy Tactics and Chrono Trigger having a baby. That's what this is. It's exactly what this is. You get double techs, you get wonderful magic, you get the tactical gameplay, tactical movement that is on a smaller board. It's great, and it's two player. And I. I cannot suggest this game enough. This is probably my most favorite Nintendo DS game. There's three in this series and the US only got two of them. I'm waiting for a fan translation of the third one so I can put it on my flash cart and play it. But I haven't found it yet. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It just means I haven't found it. This game is just awesome. I, I can't, I can't put it into words. This is so good. Buy this game. Buy this game. If you hate it, hold on to it for a year and then turn around and sell it. You'll make more than your money back and you will, we will have given this game an honest chance. spent lots of time playing with my friend Sinshatis and player versus player as well. Then we have Luminous Art 2. Again, Atlas, so lightsaber samurai, you know the saying. And here's the back. This one's in a protective case because it's in a box. It's in a cardboard box. Let's see, which side opens up? I've forgotten. This, yeah, this side opens up. I'm go ahead and unbox this guy right here. Put the protective case off to the side. As I fumble around with this. So, the box comes with the soundtrack. Which I'll go ahead and put that back. Maybe do that off camera a little carefully. So it has the soundtrack, which is why it comes in the sleeve, because the rest of the game is basically in here. And I have not played this game, unfortunately, because again, got addicted to MMOs. And that basically ruled my life for such a long time that I just stopped playing any console games. And I will never go back to playing MMOs because of how much it almost ruined me. Let me get this back in the case. There we go. Let's set that down. Put it in the right spot. And another good L game, Lunar Dragon Song. Lots of people said that this was a pretty good remake of one of the Lunar games, and I like Lunar, and I wanted to give this one a shot, but I haven't given it a shot yet. Hopefully in the future. It's on the backlog. And of course, everyone had to have this Mario Kart DS. This was like everyone shows up to a party or something, or yeah, and, and they all get out their DS's and they all start playing Mario Kart DS. And it was a good, it's a good Mario Kart game. Not nearly as good as like Double Dash, but it's still good. Here is actually a custom case. This is M Metroid Prime Hunter's First Hunt. Now, the reason why First Hunt is on there is because this is not a full game. This is a demo cartridge. 
It normally only comes in this sleeve right here, but that sleeve fits perfectly within this case just fine and does not damage it. And there's the cartridge right there, but this is a demo. Like it says right here, demo version. It's not the full game. I thought that was really interesting that they released a demo on a cartridge. It's a lot to invest. And then here we have Miami Law. I got this because it has a little bit of a link back to Working Designs. The president of Working Designs started another company called Gaijin Works, and apparently they had a hand in this, so I had to have it. And then my shmup, which is Nano Stray. It's behind the ship, so it's a little bit wonky on some of the things. I think it's behind the ship. Nope, it's not. It's actually top down. Iridian 3D is the one that's behind the ship. But Nano Stray is a decent shmup. And it has a lot of interesting elements because it's on the DS. And then there's Overlord Minions. I love the Overlord series, and once I found out this game existed, I had to have it. Unfortunately, I did not have to play it. I just collected it up and put it on the backlog. And another one on the backlog is Fantasy Star Zero. I like the Fantasy Star series, but I definitely need to get back to churning away at my backlog. Hopefully I will have played this by then. And, oh, yeah, this is definitely one of the games I picked up used because the case is in pretty rough shape and I'm missing the manual. This one I actually got as a birthday present, which is The Sims 2. I wasn't really much of a Sims fan, but this is this kind of weird spooky style of like mystery game it's, it's decent I'm actually pretty happy that I have it next up SNK Capcom Card Fighters DS now this game I have it because I collected the game for the Neo Geo Pocket Color on the DS, I'm not on the DS, on the New Geo Pocket Color, of course. But I collected that game and then found out that no one wanted to even keep their Neo Geo Pocket Color, much less play this game. So open it up. Yep, I got this one brand new. I think I got it at Electronics Boutique or Babbage's or something like that but it's on the backlog and I got it because I thought more people would be playing it because it was on a more readily available system. Unfortunately, I was wrong. Spectral Force Genesis. I got this game on a recommendation from a YouTube channel. I cannot remember which one it was, but I mean, it might've been Metal Jesus Rocks, but it looked really interesting, it is brand new, and I have not had a chance to open it or play it or anything. Next up, Star Fox Command, AKA the game that is known for destroying the second touchscreen on the DS. It's interesting, you, you can like use the stylus to do spe special maneuvers and stuff on this game, but little kids pressed on the screen for way too hard and it just destroyed screens. Thankfully I did not do anything that silly. I tried my best to use this game or, and play it without using the touch screen but uh, I can see how a lot of parents did not like that game because it caused their kids to have to get a new DS. Next up we have Worms Open Warfare. I like the Worm series. Uh, it is definitely a combat party game with a little bit of tactics and a lot of slapstick. It is 
just, it's a hilarious thing. And I wanted this to be able to do the same thing that everyone used to do with the Mario Kart game on the DS. Unfortunately, this I think was released later in the life cycle of the DS and people basically just got bored with the DS and stopped using it. But that's the DS collection. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.